Hey guys, welcome back. How are you doing? Welcome back to a lot of different things that I have done off camera. So let's have a look, a quick little recap of what I've done in the last 24 hours since the opening of that brand new zoo. So we have, we have a brand new tram line. We have a brand new tram station. We have three new housing developments with parking, of course. The tram station is now over here, kind of situated away, a new sunken road, a new big roundabout, a huge long avenue, and a lot of space to work with. Okay, so let's just have a look at all of, all of the things that I have done, really. So I've extended this whole big avenue all the way across here. So this is going to be a main big road that connects up to the downtown area, which is going to be in this area. And since we have the tram, I just put the tram there just like that for now, just so it actually works. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to leave it like that because that is just... <laughs> Uh, okay, so the, I made the, the tram go zoop, it's really, really zippy over here, and I thought all of this space is going to be upper class residential area, so if we zoom in here and have a look at these new estates, you can see that, if I go to this angle, they're a little bit more fancy than the usual types of buildings that I've been using, so like these ones, they're all quite nice, they're, I put in the parking as well, just to make it look a little bit more filled in, and honestly the parking really makes a huge difference, it makes it look really really good. Uh, and then this one here, we have we have some lower density, just because I thought maybe these guys here wouldn't want their view obstructed. <laughs> um, um, and uh, this is just a shop over here, but yeah, doesn't the parking look good? And this is, this is a huge roundabout it's going to be a very busy roundabout and so this road here this is the one that has the tram on it and I didn't want to put the tram on this main road because I thought once there's all the traffic and buses and just everything going on I thought it might be too hectic for the tram to actually go on here so the tram for now goes out along here and then it cuts down and it goes in between this hole in the middle of this peninsula if, if that's what you want to call it so it goes through here like so and then it zooms up over the bridge like so and I've also put up the the key. Is that what you call it? The wall barrier, the sea wall. Uh, so this is gonna. This is actually how it was before. So this gives us something really interesting to work with. Uh, the the highway goes straight over. So I'm not going to add in any highway connections. The only potential is to add it right here, just a little one. But I, I'm not sure yet. It, I probably will add it there. And that is it. And then so this road here. Um, I made it so if they're coming this way they can just go around like that because if you connected the road here to here there's such a short amount of space in between and to me that is just a recipe for disaster so we are not going to do that and this space here this is kind of awkward space so I thought I'd just leave it as open green space we'll add in some pathways some more trees and that'll basically be it because honestly who wants to who wants to live right there it might not be the best location who knows, maybe it is, I don't know. And so we have this bridge here that connects up to this area here. And you'll notice that there's this bridge that comes down here. And the reason why I didn't just go like from here then straight across, because I didn't want this to be a main way for them to go across. So by dividing this bridge up and putting the other side over here, it really stops the easy flow. So it could easily encourage them to use public transport more or the highway more. So hopefully that works and the only issue with this road is like obviously I know this road is going to be really really busy because it's connecting up two main areas the tram goes over this part here uh, so for now the tram has to give way to any traffic going this way but in the future we may have to put it in a tunnel or something like that uh, it really depends on how the traffic is going to go for now it's just going to stay like that because even if we do leave it like that we could still technically get it to work with time traffic light management so it is possible and if I just show you guys so the tram it slowly gets faster and faster and faster until it gets to about here then it really zooms across I think is it going to there we go it's zooming across just because it's flat it's straight they can just zoom across really quickly and this is just the I think cypress tree so now that we got that done let's begin so we have equal demand for basically a lot of things um, I don't know if I want to put a, a wall barrier a sea wall barrier over here yet not too sure not too sure and the trees in the middle I might add in more vegetation to that uh, but off camera just to make it look a little bit more filled in and 
Also, I just got a new mouse, so apologies if you can hear a lot of clicking because the, the roller, when I push down to move, you can hear that click. So I've got to, got to wear it in yet, so, <laughs> so if you hear something, that's what it is. So, let's get designing. I want to do a lot of the parking lots as well because I really like how that looks. And we have a lot of space to work with. And this, this main road up here kind of, if I just go like that, this road here kind of just goes to nowhere, but I mean, that's that's completely okay. Um, and I'm not going to add in any more connections to the avenue. I, didn't, I really don't want to mess that up too much. So yeah, just adding any more, any more connections on here is probably not the best idea because, like I said, it's just going to cause a lot of traffic issues. Um, okay, so let's just design the roads a little bit more. We're just going to use a very basic grid system um, and then we can kind of divide it up into blocks. So this could be one housing estate here, this could be another one. So I think, yeah, that is a good idea to actually do it like that. Um, I guess I can add some buildings along here, but there's no way to put the road. Like I was thinking, could I get this road and then put it underneath here, but there isn't just enough. There's, there's really just not enough space for that. So that's that's fine, I guess. And then hopefully they're not too bothered by the highway being right there as well. So I'll tr maybe I'll try not to put them like right up against the highway so the bedroom window isn't like looking at at cars. So because um, that would be just a bit annoying, wouldn't it? So this is a pretty big project as well. I don't know if I'll finish the whole thing in one video because there is a lot to do. But definitely I'll get at least half of this whole peninsula done. Um go up there like that and I figured maybe this little peninsula here could be like the ultra fancy buildings as well so I, I think I might have to download some more assets for actual fancy buildings you know what before I do the parking lots I need to find the buildings that I want to use because I the buildings are all different shapes and uh, once we put them in then we can work around them so I think I used it before, but we can use it again. So let's do that. So I, th I feel like obviously the largest ones would be along the main road. And I'm actually really excited to see this whole big avenue being used. So we can throw in some parking lots in there. Um, oh, this is a really big building as well. So I'll just plop them down and then we can really rearrange everything.
Hey guys, well that took a long time just to place all of these buildings and just in case you didn't catch it when I said it earlier so this is the a school block right here so you notice that I removed the road here so this is going to be just open green space for both schools and this is I think this is the high school that's slightly underneath the highway I thought why not utilize that wasted space it is a little bit weird to put it under a highway right but oh well and so we have the high school, so this is going to be one big nice open area. And then also there's going to be open green space in here. And then I'm going to put pathways and greenery all the way up to the end right there. And I've left just little spaces. So there's a little space here to put some greenery. There's little bits in here, little bits in here, here, here. So, and then also up in here as well in this big one right there. So even though it looks like I've put in a lot of parking lots, there's still lots of little bits of greenery throughout the whole map. And... Although there's not really going to be bike paths everywhere like Inselstadt, it's still going to be quite connected, I think. And hopefully, a lot of the traffic, I tried to make them all use this road here, a lot of them, uh, as their main connection. So instead of making them all use this main road here, or the other main roads, this is their main roads uh, right along the tram track, which is going to be really, really useful for them. And also underneath the highway, I just shoved in some parking lots again, just to really utilize that space. Otherwise, it's pretty wasted, right? Um, and then other than that, that's pretty much all that I have done so far. Um, so I guess what's left is now we need to add in all of the parking lots in these spaces and then fill in all of the other blank spots. And it's going to take a while, but I mean, I don't mind. So I might just skip past that to the end so you guys don't have to watch me put in parking lots and trees so anyway let's skip to the end and I'll go through all of it again when it's complete so three two one okay everyone I think most of it is done there's still a few little things that I can tweak off camera but let's have a look and as we fix up a few things before I finish this episode you can just have a good look as we go through to see everything that I have done so this is the that little peninsula the more fancy area I don't know if it's actually more fancy I just put in like different types of buildings because all of these buildings are quite long whereas these ones are quite narrow they go straight up uh, and then so we can we can go have a look in here so there's a little tennis court there which actually looks really nice it suits it right there we've got the parking of course uh, I think this big one here is residential but this one here I think is office I believe um, but pretty much most of it on here is residential uh, there are little bits of commercial as well and this road right now it looks really dead but trust me in the future I'm going to guide so much traffic into this area that it's going to be quite hectic and I'm looking forward to it being hectic because I want to see all of the lanes being used so I look forward to that day it's going to be good so uh, this area here we have a lot of office space and then we have the schools as well and I really like these roads here as well um, because it's the school area it's an office area so there's obviously going to be a need for parking so we have parking, street parking, and then we also have the parking underneath the highway as well, which you can see all of the parking spaces are actually being used, which is really good. Uh, we do have to do the tram line quickly before I end that episode, and also off camera I might add in some detail on the middle area here, and I might also, I haven't done the nature area yet, but I will do that off, ca off camera. And then this, this inside the roundabout, I'm kind of com I'm kind of conflicted. I don't know if I want to leave it as low, like um, not a high statue type image, or do I want to leave it as just some vegetation? I'm not sure yet. So I'm going to leave that and think about it. But just before I finish, I'm just going to remove some of the traffic lights. So this area, I believe, is okay. I'm just making sure the lanes are going. Uh huh. This this lane here can only go left and then how about this one here this one oh what's it saying should only be able to go left just because the medium is in the middle so they can't cross that obviously um, this area in here I quite like it it's it's good we got a little bit of some playgrounds here and there um, we got more official gardens which are kind of a little bit dodgy I did them quickly um, and then we've got these three nice red looking buildings with their parking honestly I like how it looks with the parking it just it really makes it look so much better than just doing like the ordinary parking that I would do 
every other time. Uh, and then this road here, this there's a little bit of a plaza here, which is kind of ugly. I might actually change that, because that looks pretty, pretty horrible. <laughs> um, we've got some trees here, which are not in season at the moment. They're all a bit, bit spooky looking, so watch out for those at night. And I think that's about it. Like, that was two hours of building, all just for that. But... Well, I like it. So just before I finish, let's add in the tram stations. So, firstly, we can add one in... Where should we add it? Let's add it in... Okay, it's going there. Oops. That side there. So that'll help for all of these people and also this luxurious area right here. And then what is going on here? This looks funny. I don't know what that is. There must be some kind of weird little connection if I can select it I knew it would delete the other road let's try that again better hopefully better uh, I think it was because I connected the road right here and it was causing a weird little connection so I might connect the road there and just bend it around a little bit and also can I update that road? No, I can't. Can I go like that? Okay, good. Just so we have one road connection. And why are there so many trees right here? Oof. Okay, I'll add in more vegetation there in a second. But let's go back to the tram line. And I don't know why... Oh, there we go. It'll fix itself up. So we have this one here. We'll put one here as well. So, I mean, that's not very far away, but good enough and then this area here I want this to be a, a tram station as well and I don't know <laughs> so annoying why can't the tram station be like right there in the middle anyway whatever or can I actually drag can I drag this up or something let me see can I do a sneaky no even if I drag the tram line the stations are still in the same spot uh, we have a few shops here and then in terms of this side I don't know what I want to do that do that just yet and so this is tram station here um, I, I don't think I need one here because it's literally right there um, so I, I think that is okay and then in terms of this one up here there's one here but I don't know why that's there there's this one here so that's even though it's all the way over here that it's not that far from this house this apartment block right there so they can still walk up easily there's the walkways up right up inside so they can very easily just walk up in through this area and then I'll just show you guys where the tram actually goes I don't think I showed you so the tram goes up through this bit of a I forget what you call that the walled down area comes up through here there's a station right there so that's just for this little office area and then I made it go around the roundabout because there was no other way to do it it just it just seemed like the most logical way to do it is straight through the roundabout uh, come up here there's a station there and then comes up here and I tried to connect the um, the tram over to here it did connect but for some reason when I would do the tram line it wouldn't recognize the bridge connection and I tried and tried and tried so many different things it just did not connect so I thought fine have your like you can have your own way and then I just made the tram go through here because in through here was kind of wasted space anyway um, so they this is the tram station they can easily walk off here and go up the pedestrian bridge and they're right there and they can transfer so it's really not that far anyway but it would have been more convenient to elevate it up and then have it connect up in there but you know what whatever this is okay how it is like that um, and then that is pretty much everything uh, just I'll do this off camera so next <coughs> so next episode this will be done um, I'll do something in here as well and maybe there'll be a few other surprises who knows so let's let's zoom out how does it look in comparison to the whole area there we go it looks a little bit bare there doesn't it um, that's okay I think it's okay once we fill in this whole area it's going to look really natural how it, how it is in terms of building a height it doesn't look like much from this angle but you know what? it's okay and I feel like this building here is almost perfect for the the angle look so the the highway goes there and then the angles like that so I feel like it's pretty perfect um, and then oh yeah just before we go <laughs> one more thing how many people live in this new peninsula area 4,000 just to show the zoning it's about that about there uh, actually let's do it up onto that road connection right there there we go middle park almost okay five thousand 
5,673 households. There's a lot of household, good amount of workers. Um, the demand is generally still even, which is good. And actually, let's see. Workers, there's all of the workers have jobs, almost all of them, so that's good. Um, and then I'm sure having the tram line will really help them as well. Let's see, is there people? There's a lot of people wanting to leave this area. Look at them go. How about down here? Where's the next one? Here it is. Oh my god, look at that. I'll make I'll make this area here a bit nicer because it is the, the tram station. Um, and then this one here, I'll make this area a bit nicer as well. I'll remove some of these, make it a little bit more open, a bit more nicer. And I know that there's parking right there, but there's nothing I can do about that. Oh, the tram station's here. Then that's okay then. That's okay, that's good. And that's... That's, that's pretty much it, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I definitely did enjoy this build because I love doing residential areas like this. I remember in San Petersburg in the uh, harbour area there's an area like this and I really enjoyed detailing and just putting all the buildings in different shapes and making it look really cool. So let me know what you think. I really enjoyed this whole area. Um, it, it reminds me of Surfer's Paradise and the Gold Coast because it's, it's a similar shape. So anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all hopefully tomorrow. Bye, guys.